Kokkola. So, so I'm originally from here and I used to live here for 20 years. And then I moved out to study to another cities. And my parents still live here, so I do visit them every once in a while. And today is already on one of those occasions and I thought like why now that I'm here why not do a walking live strip because if I have understood correctly you enjoy these streams to some extent at least and I actually also like this I like doing this because I can just pick up my gear and start walking around and showing you place and also interact with you so why not so and also the weather, as you can see, this is probably the uh, perfect Finnish weather. It's maybe around 20 degrees Celsius, clear blue sky, slight wind, like a slight, like a gentle breeze. So it's not too hot and not too cold. And I'm wearing shorts and t-shirts, obviously, here as well. We have also some people in the chat, let me know uh, where are you participating. We have uh, people, Red Mushroom video thought that I forgot the stream. Yeah, actually I, <laughs> I realized that the, the, I had set the starting day, starting time for uh, 5 to 6. And I remember that I had set it to at 6. So that's why I'm actually a little bit late. Late for, for you. But here I am, here I am. Sexy boy is speaking Russia, but unfortunately I cannot really read Cyrillic uh, writing, unfortunately. Such beautiful weather, can't wait be, to be there on July 1st. That sounds awesome, Kiki. Yeah, welcome to Finland. Double it here. By the way, it's, this is uh, my setup is wiggling for some reason. Let me just try to fix it. I'm just gonna put it here. Just a second. I'm gonna push it a little. Oops. Rotate device. And there we go. I hope it's better. So, everybody, let me know in the, in the chat or in the replay, what in the replay. Where are you joining this stream? Let's start the classics. That's kind of like a <laughs> bread and butter of um, of uh, these these uh, streams, because you know this is a very international community. We have fantastic, fantastic is the community. In case you didn't know, all over the world, all over the world. So, and I'm just a regular random Finnish guy, and it's it's sometimes I I'm grateful for having you also here because I mean without you we wouldn't be that much we have Vicky Moi Vicky what's up Ursula from Kankampa from Kokko okay so we have actually some people who are joining from Kokko that's amazing people from Serbia cool I've been to Belgrade like 10 years ago Mura is also here Moi Mura Mura Ursula from Hungary good stuff welcome USA, USA, USA. All right. <laughs> Why did you left that glorious me mega megapolis? Well, I just told you because I'm originally from here. I'm just visiting Kokkola. And here we have a Finnish railroad crossing. First sightseeing of the day. <laughs> you should, you should, you should visit, visit Belgrade again. Uh, not now because it's 33. Holy shit, 33 is too much. Wait for the train to come. Well, we don't exactly know when there's gonna be trains. Hello from Love Bananda. Finns don't talk to strangers, they always block people. <laughs> Typical Finnish. Here is some. Uh, uh, yeah, here is a local supermarket, and it seems they have destroyed their old uh, cash register lines, like, you know, this beep beep, where they kind of scan things, or at least the desks. And since they are being destroyed and taken away now. So this shop, this is kind of cool, it's called Mini Money. 
and of course it means mini money but all but written in in finnish you know mini money kind of cool i don't think this this uh department oh it's like a supermarket supermarket does not really exist in here maybe in a few other cities hello from argentina hello from canada mo italia mo martin from argentina cool Yes, yeah, so look at the blue sky. It's, this is like the perfect, like I mentioned, if you just tuned in, just mentioned that it's the perfect weather at the moment. So this is exactly how I like it. It's like around 18 degrees Celsius, something like that. Slight wind, it's like slight breeze. Uh, of course, no clouds, no, um, no rain. Moi William. Thanks for using the emojis too. And of course, Lidl on the right. Lidl is very like a dominant player in the Finnish grocery store business. I am in Kokkola now. Oh, wow, good stuff. Hope it will be nice when I'm visiting a friend in early July. Yeah, I mean, I think for the most part the weather can be nice. If you're, if there have been some years when it's been raining like whole summer, but I don't think not during recently years. And believe it or not, we have actually people also on the move. It's not like a deserted city. Finnish summers are beautiful. I absolutely agree. Natalie is also from South Australia. Moi, Natalie. Good to have you. So this is. Uh, uh, old water tower. It has been there as as long as I can remember. But the thing is that it's not in operation. It's not operational, and the city has not come up with the way, or like a come up with an idea how to use it. It's just standing there for for nothing. I think there has been some ideas to make it like a bar or a restaurant, but for some reason it hasn't uh, hasn't worked out. Yeah, I mean it's 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 kind of like an interesting installment, like in in the middle of the road. What's the Kaupunki Kokkola? Kokkola, so you can find it in the in the description. Hello from Germany. Hello aus Deutschland. Willkommen. Uh, is this Willkommen in or Willkommen nach? My name live stream. Ich hoffe, dass du Spaß heute mit uh, mir hast. I think Finnish is difficult language for Europeans. Yeah, I think it's a difficult language for everyone. Uh, <laughs> as long as you're not, except, except if you're from Estonia. But the thing is that, I mean, people often say that Finnish is so difficult. Well, I'm not denying that, that's, the, that's true, but I think uh, the other way to think it is that it's just different. It's it's a different language that you're not used to, and that's why it can feel challenging. Hello from Azari, living in Germany. I like Nordic countries. Good stuff. From the, but it's such a beautiful language. Yeah. And think of think of think think of, think of, think about it this way. You are learning a unique language that only 5.5 million people in the world speak. So it's it's a cool thing that you are learning Finnish, and especially if you can learn, uh, if you can start to speak it. What do you hate most about Kokkola? Uh, well, maybe the I can, I'm not sure, I cannot say that I hate it, but. But uh, it's 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 just a boring city. I mean, especially for a young adult, there's not really much going on, and and yeah, I th that's probably the biggest dislike. Can't wait to be speaking fluently. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, if if you're looking for like a quiet, peaceful lifestyle, maybe have a, 
maybe you have a young children then maybe that that uh, for that type of people this could maybe work out what's the big tower this is our old water tower not functional anymore and this is the theater and there's this like a cool cannon I don't remember the history though of, of the cannon but Good, good for Mavnilius, yes. Yeah, but I mean, it really depends. If, if you really like this like a quiet, peaceful lifestyle, then this could work out. Hey, Brent, thanks for the five dollars. Five dollars uh, super chat, I really appreciate it. And I think I promised, well, I didn't say it yet, but I think in the description of this stream, I promised that if I get super chats, I have to do cheesy dance moves again. So I guess I have to stake my claim. Redeem my promises. Yeah, I, I actually do that when uh, when I find a good place to put the put the phone. Thank you so much, Brent. What question if I don't drive is it possible to go around with buses and such in all cities? Uh, yes, for the most part, especially in the capital area, the public transportation kicks ass. But um, in in smaller cities, it it depends a little bit. Because if you live in a very small place, then you, a car is actually like a necess necess necessity. Okay, now actually this. This is probably the, uh, I don't remember if this is the first gas station of Finland. It's not operational. Let me just show you. As you can see Shell, you probably know the company Shell. There used to be like a proper gas station here when I was living here, but it seems it's not operational. Okay, anyways, dance moves time. Let me just put it... Uh, oops. Actually, let me just do it this way because I can I can see, see that what you see, actually. Okay, I'm, I'm a tall guy, so I have to put it a little bit down. And I have to come up with the dance move on the go. And I think I just came up. Uh, this is called wheelbarrow, you know, the things where you cut car out, carry stuff. So you first pick up the wheelbarrow like this, and then, and again, you pick up the wheelbarrow. All right, first dance move of the of the <laughs> of the show. Good stuff, guys. And hey, guys, this this over here. This is my school. I used to go to school here like 15 years ago or something. So this is this is where I went uh, the classes what were the classes from 7th to 9th grade. And it's still operational. There has been some changes obviously, but it's here. Hey, did we get another super chat? Sarvesh, Chitka for the five, uh, no, five euros, five euros of my own money. Thank you so much for the five uh, euros. Thank you so much. Yes, actually there we can see the sign. Kokkolan suomalainen lukio. So lukio is like the Finnish upper and secondary school, if I'm, if I'm uh, correct. I'm going to actually take you this way. It's like a cool, like a street. Approximately how many people live in Kokla? 50k? I don't think it's that much. Um, because some years ago the surrounding, the, the, like smaller municipalities were joined or were like fused together with Kokkola. So if you look up the population on Wikipedia, for example, it can be, it can show like something 40, 50. But I think in the Kokkola city itself, I think it's more like 30k, 40k, something like that. So it's a small city, but 
it's it's like the capital of this central Ostrobotnia region. There's Miniman also was. Okay, that's what I thought. Oops. So we have also got these tier scoots. Actually, just like a few months ago, these were also introduced in Kokkola. This tier. I actually like this tier myself as well. William says from Wikipedia, town has population 47k and covers an area. Okay, those are actually quite quite a bit. It looks peaceful, beautiful and peaceful. Yes, that's exactly. I, I will also walk you through the, through the old town. It's actually kind of cool. So Kokkola used to be a more important city in the past because because this is located very on the west coast and you know during the Swedish era and also the Russian era this was more like a more like a harbor city. And look at this nice set of wheels. <laughs> Well, that's like an American, I assume. Oh, look at that. Nice set of wheels. Let's give a thumbs up for the nice car. How often are you in Kokkola? I say maybe four or five times a year. Joe is also here. Kuis roikkuu? Kiitos hyvin roikkuu. Good to have you here as well. There's a lot of the cars in the summer. Lovely car. I see a lot of old beautiful cars in Finland. There's almost nobody in the streets. Yeah, this is, this is, well, we are in the center, but not in the busiest area. But I mean, this is how it looks most for the most part in Finland. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not really like a city full of people. Nice place to retire in. Exactly, I mean... I mean, in the Helsinki city center... It's it's like <laughs> more or less busier. But in the smaller cities, even in the city centers, maybe not that much. Not that much. Beautiful houses. Oh yes, I was a little bit zoomed in. Great. So today is also the the uh, graduation day for the upper secondary school. Actually, the place. No, actually, I didn't do upper upper, upper secondary school there. That was basic, like primary school. But uh, if you've seen those white sailor hat thingies on social media, so today is the day when the pupils or the students of upper secondary school Lukio will get those hats or they've actually got the hats already and they're probably having their celebrations now and maybe when we go to the center I'm actually yeah well, I'm gonna show the center as well um, there uh, we may also run into them so it's been 12 years since I since I got my hat, that's that's a that's a long way, long time ago. Young people don't live there anymore. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, like I said, there's not really much. There is a University of Applied Sciences here, but um, not not much aside from that. Can I actually? I uh, this is locked, I believe. So this is like the football field of Kokkola. I, I was hoping that I could get in, but it seems it's... Well, I can show you a little bit. I was actually here yesterday watching the local football game. So, the, the team here, they play the second highest league of Finland. That's easy. Yeah, oh yeah, on the other side they have their... Come on, come on. This is the logo. Come on, come on. KPV. Kokkolan palloveikot. 
Come on, zoom out, zoom out, please. There we go. Coca-Cola has an average of 30 people per square kilometer. <laughs> yes, not very crowded at all. Very true, very true. Wow, it's actually, it's, it's like a very, it's like a hot day. <laughs> Even for Finnish standards. Or especially for Finnish standards. But I guess, I mean for Finns, the weather is never per perfect. In the winter it's too cold, in the summer it's too hot, in the spring it's too windy, in the, uh, in the autumn it's too rainy, and so on. Looks like it's rush hour. <laughs> Welcome to rush hour. Rush hour of Finland. Cool. Wait till you encounter a traffic jam, yeah? Yeah, in Finland we don't have traffic jams. That's actually a really nice thing. Only once per year during Johannes. Um, When everyone is leaving for their summer cottages, that's the only time, only time when I've had uh, encountered a traffic jam. Okay, this is actually the old town. I guess I could show. Oh shit! Just trying to mind my mind the traffic. Okay, so here is the old town. So here we have actually some intro. I've actually shown you this before. So Western Church Street, and then it says the street of the sailors in the 17th century. Yeah, so this used to be like a harbor city, and these were these old wooden houses. This is where like the workers used to live. And then on the other side, it's very more like the rich people used to live. That's uh, I'm not 100% sure on this, but that's how I believe it was back in the day. Yeah, look at these beautiful, cute houses. And these are still in use. So some people own this and they live in this, or maybe they have rented them out. Yeah, Neristan is it's called in Swedish. Are you enjoying the walk so far? Hit thumbs up if you do. Whew. And yeah, as you can see, we have the Finnish flags. So today was the day of the Finnish Defense Forces and there was a huge parade in Helsinki, also on television. So that's why we have the flags. Okay, let's see what this street sign says. Katu to Lastaus Paikka. Okay. So there used to be there's like a river, I'm gonna show it to you later. And that's where the ships also also used to go. And it says here that the street ended up in the docking area or where they like loaded and put everything there. Interesting. People are happy when you try, but instantly it's a switch to English. Yeah, I mean that's a problem, but you can easily go around. Just tell them that hey, let's speak Finnish. Because Finns may they don't do it just to be rude or that stuff like that they just want to be that the conversation is convenient for everyone so you just need to do a little bit of extra effort but luckily it's very easy you just tell them hey puhutaan uh, suomea let's speak finnish and that should do the trick that should do the trick nice roses on the on the window
Oh yeah, we see also the city's church towering above the city. Yeah, sorry if I... Uh, sometimes people get faced like, Alexi Perkele, why you're not checking out my answering my comments? Well, the thing is that I'm doing so many things at the time, so I may miss some comments. But if you send me a super chat, I will... Because they will be... I, I get like these flashy things I want at my end, so I will make sure I'll check those. Okay, here at the uh, Mayor Street, so it says that the mayor called Erland Noreen used to live in the number six, so this is number 13. So they, it seems they named the city after that guy. Cool, good stuff. What's super chat? So uh, there is a, this dollar sign below the comments and you can send like a, you can send like a, it's like a donation kind of thing. You get this flashy message and everything. So if you want to support me in my full-time Finnish YouTube journey, you can do that, but that's up to you. If you really think it's worth worth it, go ahead. But um, if, you, if it's not worth it, then that's also fine. No problem. Just wanted to remind you about the opportunity. And look at these beautiful houses. There's pink, dark red, yellow, pink also on the other side really like the colors so those are the super chat so you may have seen those dollars and euros popping up in the screen that is a super chat so that is a super chat therefore you just have to get my credit card down before yeah I mean no no worries no worries just take your time take your time So here we have the church, I've been there a few times. And now we are approaching the city center, now, believe it or not, we should be able to <laughs> run into people also. Oh yeah, today is also football, um, Nations League. Finland is playing in Bosnia Herzegovina, I believe. Starting in 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 a moment. But yeah, if you're wondering, like if if this is a very if this is a accurate representation of what life in Finland is, well, I have to say yes. For the most part, of course, in the bigger cities, in the city centers, it's going to be busier with more people. But I mean, still, if this is a lifestyle you would like to live, then this is it. I mean, we don't have that many people. Of course, you have to just go where the people are, but in the streets, it's not really that busy. Yeah, but if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, just uh, use the comments, please. I, I'll, I'll try to answer as many as I can on the go. So this is the old town hall. I don't think it's used... I don't actually know, know what's the function at, at the moment. There hasn't really been anything special as, as far as I know. And this is a statue of... Actually, who? I, I'm not, I don't actually know. It's... What does it say? There are some names. Frederick Stromback, Leino Lep, Leplax, Jonas Jaukens, Eino Alapoja. To be honest, I don't know who these people are. History is... Oh, it said something here. Okay, it's in Finnish and Finnish. Let me read it to you. It says... Uh, okay, I have to be a little bit closer. Vapaus sodassa kaatu niiden puok. Oikein sen muistoksi pystyttyneen patsaan koko... Aha, okay. 
So for the people who fell in the in the war, so this is like a memoriam for them. Okay, 1980. Good stuff. Yeah, by the way, history is not really something I'm good at. But I guess when I'm doing this Finland related stuff, I should probably brush up some basics at least. <laughs> Lutheran is obviously the biggest religion, but which is a type of Christianity. Yeah, I mean Lutheran is the, probably the major religion in Finland. Okay, this Seurahuone. This is um, this is a nightclub where I used to <laughs> go sometimes when I was younger. Hotel Seurahuone. I think it's still operational, even the club side. How did we get the super chat? Ah, oh, Mura with 70. Uh, I think I should know this. I've got super chats from before, from you before. It's was it South African something? Oh my God, I'm. I should know this. I feel I feel so bad for not knowing this or not remembering. But thank you for 70 money, 70 money units. Anyways, I really appreciate. It. And I think that means that we have also have to do another dance move. South African run. Okay, South African run. How can I remember that in the in the in the future? But hey, guys, we are about to reach the center, and here's the market square. We can actually drop by there, maybe buy something if you're up to. Okay, but here's a dance move spot. Perfect height. Uh, I need to come up with the dance move. Okay, let's let's try. It. Uh, what's it called? Uh, in Finnish, it's led to like this. Finnish like a big, like a big pancakes. So I'm frying those like first putting the sauce and then throwing it again, putting some sauce, stirring it up, throwing it up. What's more, stirring the sauce. Shaking it up. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good stuff. Good stuff. Kokkula city on Finland's west coast. Yes, it is. So here is the square. We can drop by here. So this is the river I was talking about. So 200 years ago or something, this used to be like a big, big ass river and many ships like um, merchandise and trade ships stopped here to trade and sell goods and stuff. But now it's just like this small, weird, weak looking river. So it, it's kind of too bad that it hasn't didn't retain its glory. But this is an important, it's called Sunti. Sunti, S-U-N-T-I river, Sunti river. And here we have the square. Here is like a grill, timing grill. You can get, it's like an Asian, you can get these spring rolls and other cool things. We can probably check out the menu. Then ice cream stall that's closed, but that's ice cream place is open actually. And uh, let's see. Another Asian grill on the other side of the street, the yellow one. And then we have a terrace. So terrace is an important part of Finnish culture. So terrace is like a terrace. It's like this, like a serving uh, service area outside of the bar. And you can have drinks and all these kind of things. Very important. Very important stuff. Now only transport in the river are drowned bicycles. Yeah, <laughs> I've also heard it. I've also heard it. Um, so the thing is that I, I guess I could fill up, I'm, I'm up for some food, what do you guys think? Um, we could also get an ice cream, but I think I could also grab something like proper, not just uh, like um, sweet stuff. And you know, because I'm with the camera, I just want to make sure that I'm not really bothering. Let me, let me check the timing really, what they have on the menu. Should I get some food? Let me know in the chat. I mean, I, I can get some food. 
Let me just check what they have. Mitäs, mitäs on menyllä? Alright, so this is the menu. This is like pork, rice with salad, chicken, uh, fried rice with meat. Now only hot. So this is actually not too bad price. I mean, 10 euros. Kana noodles like chicken noodle wok with salad, chicken with ginger, tofu, uh, tofu with fried vegetables, and this is chicken curry with potato rice and salad. Okay, that's not too bad actually. Yeah. Amish yeah, this is Finnish grill. This is like an uh, Asian grill. Actually, let me check out the other side what they have. Because, I mean, because there's competition, there should be... It's the favor of the consumer, <laughs> you know? They're much cheaper in Germany. Yeah, I bet. I bet. It's, it's a little bit too bad that there's no much... No big... Uh, big, uh, like a... Like a cheaper stuff. Okay. It's around the same price, but there's more options. You know, the problem when there's more options is that it's it's harder to decide. Uh, but I guess I could take something. There's no... I can. I don't see the prices. That's a big problem. Right? There's like Vietnamese uh, grilled pork with noodles and rice. That actually looks kind of good. Maybe I could take that one. It's 11 euro. Uh, this one. What do you think? Should I take that one? Looks decent. I'm hungry now, lol. Okay, I think I'm gonna just take the one. Moi! Mattasin ton... Vietnamilaista grillipossua ja tota, nuudeleilla kiitos. Nuudeleilla kiitos. Joo, risi nuudeli. Joo. Hello, se on maapakkina ja paitettu. Paitettu ja sipuli. Joo, voi laittaa. Se on oikein. Joo, mä en muuta. Suku täällä. Joo, mä en suunta sinne. Tuleeko muuta? Uh, ei muuta, kiitos. Joo. And of course, paying with the card because we're in Finland. Okay, guys, transaction completed. Uh, I mean, this is like a very Finnish. Finnish uh, experience. Well, I took like Asian food, but the, now you may be wondering, Alex, what the hell? What? Where's the Finnishness in that? But I mean, uh, the point is that you can come to this market square and uh, get some food, ice cream. We can we we can also get the ice cream after this if you want. And I can also let you, let you choose choose if you want. Now I have also, they're gonna attempt, take, them, take some time to prepare it, so now I have some time to uh, answer questions. That reminds me, I always pay with cash in Finland, everyone is always surprised. Yeah, that's the thing, because in Finland we always love to pay with card. Cash is also, of course, accepted, but I mean, it's just so handy to pay with card, because you can do it anywhere, and you don't have to carry cash on you. Um, on the other hand, I think it's still a good idea to have some cash with you because in 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 case the if the card system messes up, then what can you do? The Asian card used to stay in the main street. Uh -huh. Have some beef. Yes, I think we took some beef. Good stuff. Yeah. Let's. Uh... So this is the square. Um, I think at least there used to be like a proper, like a big, big market uh, every Wednesday. But 
I don't know what's the what's the oh, what's the occasion nowadays because of course because I don't live here anymore. <laughs> so not not really sure what's the what's the what's the what's what's up nowadays. I guess I could um, let me just move in a little. Oh crap! Just gonna go on go on this side so you just have to look at my <laughs> ugly face, ugly face all the time I can show you what's going on so look at this we actually have uh, human life forms in Kokkola lots of old Finns pay with cash yeah I think it's true I think it's true I need to be I need to quit being an old person left self checkout also kind of slow in facing of plastic bags they were done at the Walmart this thing. Yeah we have also those self checkouts and I think they're actually quite quite uh, handy especially if you have only little like a few items because usually the self checkout places are shorter so it makes sense to use them. And in Finland we have those are actually quite widely in use in my opinion. stuff let me read some comments Kokkola is pretty able to try to visit in summer yeah I mean would I recommend to visit Kokkola uh, well if you are in this region anyways maybe you're on, on your way to all of you could maybe have like a day one day trip two days maximum there is like a really nice like a like a what you call lighthouse like on an island and I, I think that's like the top top place to go but um, aside from that, there's not really much like a super interesting things to visit. Now only Lidl has no self checker Yeah, Lidl doesn't have self checker That's true. But yeah, about Kokkola, mm, yeah, I, I'm I'm not really convinced. I mean, of course it's my hometown and everything, but I'm not really sure if there's much much to actually check. I mean, if you go to um, uh, of course Google Cock Club top places to visit you you should find some options there are some museums and everything and the Tankar area and uh, what else there's also nice like uh, zoo kind of uh, quite close like 15 kilometers from here but uh, I don't know I cannot I, there's not really much much places I can actually uh, recommend to you it's kind of sad, but that's that's just, that's just, it is what it is. Kokkola is small, so all their cities will be more. Yeah, okay, that's a <laughs> that's a nice way to put it, actually. Yeah. You know, in Kokkola there is none. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, well, at least, well, I, at least you, you can check out the place through, through the stream <laughs> when I'm showing you the the place. So it's a it's a good good thing that way. Yeah, some people are looking like, what the heck is this dude? Speaking in Finnish accent in public to the camera. Self checkout won't work in South Africa. I'm panic when I use them when visiting the UK. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Why wouldn't they work? Buy Coca Cola for a drink. Well, I have some water in my backpack. So I decided to skip for the drinks, at least for now. Hey, NMC 92, 11 euros. Wow, 11 euros. Someone shouted something like Coca-Cola fuck something. <laughs> I, I couldn't get it. But hey, 11 euros. Well, that's a big. That's yeah, actually, that's the amount. Yeah, now I got it. So you actually <laughs> covered the cost for the food. Thank you so much. And I guess I'm. Uh, that's also one dan more, one more dance move. I'm gonna do the moves once I once we get the food done. 
because I'm actually hungry. I actually went to this gym also. There's uh, the city gym is uh, actually not that far away from here, and uh, that's probably why I'm hungry. I did have some dinner at home before this, but you know I'm I'm a tall dude. Maybe you don't ever see it on the videos, but I'm I'm like 194. So that's a, that's a, I'm a big dude. So it's like six four in inches. And you know, I'm, I, I said, <laughs> a big guy needs a lot of fuel to keep going. But yeah, NMC 92, 11 euros. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Cool. And I actually just realized, so we're now in June and I have been doing this YouTube full time for five months now. Time flies so fast. And uh, how has it been? Well, actually, it's it's been for the most part, it's good. There are some days when I feel like, oh shit, like why am I doing this? But um, I still have, I'm still motivated. And I mean, I, I think the reasons are good enough so that I actually, I actually keep, I, I I can keep keep on trucking. Let's put it that way. Ah, yo. Oh my goodness, guys, this is a big, <laughs> big course. Let's just, just a second, I need. Okay, how, how I'm gonna do this? Just a second. I just need to look at the size of this portion. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, uh, how do you want me to do this? Do you is this a good angle, or do you want uh, the camera to be at my face and see when I'm kind of like putting this way? This way you see the camera like the food more. But yeah, you can choose because you're the you're the weaver. So there's this kind of sauce. I'm not actually sure where I should put it. We are gonna mix it up. I want to see the food. Okay. Oh, it's good. So this is uh, this like pork. Then there is this like an onion thing, and this is like a ma back, and it's like nuts, nuts of some sort. Oh, but it's so good. What's in the cup? Ah, what's in the cup? This is, um, it's some sort of sauce. I, I guess I should like pour it in. Okay, let, let, let me try. Oh, it's so good. Now you just hear me crunching. Sweet chili sauce. Yeah, probably. Beer. <laughs> I, I wish it was beer. Switch it up a little bit. So it's like a rice and the pork thing. By the way, you probably heard that I've, I've said that it's impolite in Finland to eat while wearing a cap. But okay, now I had it on because I mean the sun is actually shining quite heavily on me. So that's why I had it on. 
but in general, if you, for example, if you get invited to someone's place, or or if you're eating anywhere for that matter, don't don't wear a hat because it's it's uh, it's a little bit. It's you have to respect the food. For example, when I was in the army, when we were, when we were eating, like in the in the nature. we had food in the nature then we were also told to take out our, our helmets and the hats even in the winter okay I'm gonna put it back to the gonna put it back to the food come on come on Does that say the hunger? Yes, I would say so. Definitely. God damn it, the cup is like getting blown away by the wind. Russia is not too polite to wear a hat when you are also in Also, yeah, it's also in Finland. Also in Finland, yes. So if you if you get invited in someone's house, then I would uh, at least I would be a little bit at least offended if someone wore a hat in my place. Maybe a little bit old school. High school, we're always mad. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's not the finished thing. should wear hat indoors or shoes. Yeah, also shoes. Definitely. I'm familiar with the hat in those things, but the first time hearing about the hat while eating. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's not very... It's like an unwritten rule, kind of.
Oh. That was so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit windy, so the cup gets blown away all the time. I'm gonna take this to the trash, just a second. Just a second. Oops, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay, I think that will keep the hunger away for 30 minutes, at least. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm, I think for the ice cream, oops, sorry, I have to maybe do it a little bit later because that was actually quite full. Hello Keshab, welcome. Can you describe the taste of it? It's more sour, spicy. Uh, I think it's kind of like a, it just tastes like meat. <laughs> Very boring answer. It was maybe a little bit on the sweet side. Sadly, Americans think it's not okay to wear shoes. Actually, actually, it's it's for a thing. It's kind of sounds pretty weird. Not not not. I don't want to be offensive, but however, I always ask guests to take off shoes. My house. Did you? Do? Okay. I saw very fun for when family to I'm Italian, Ukraine, and Polish. We always offer food. Friends with more English evening, more just the family. Universally offer drink. Okay. Great. Okay, so now we're done with the food. You just saw me destroy a. Some meat with rice noodles. Actually, I, I need to check how long the ice cream stalls are open because maybe if they're getting closed, we might miss some ice cream. Okay, your call. Should I get the ice cream? Maybe I'll also let you to decide the flavor because there's no queue at the ice cream place now. And that's something I can, you know, it's not, it doesn't take that much to that long to eat also. And I think the cool thing is that they have some so very some very interesting flavors. Like every year. Kiki says yes, get it. How much do I have the battery? Ah 74. Always get the ice cream, okay. I guess that's have to embrace the awkwardness. And uh I mean, because I have the camera and everything. Well, it shouldn't be difficult. I mean, it's it's free marketing for the ice cream stalls also. Salamiakka is coming. I have my everything. I have my wallet. All right. Yes, so let's go to this Ingman store. Oops. They have so many different flavors here. This is, for example, Oreo, Dime, Rum Raisin, Co Choice Toffee, Old Classic Chocolate, Rocky Road. Uh, then there is this is like a strawberry sorbet. I then the most extreme as a malam and I'm going to get it. Okay. No, but there are hyvät valikoimat, niin on aina vaikea valita. Nämä on samat. Onko ne samat? Okay. Joo, mä vaan lusin tsekata. Okay. So, uh, this is Moomin, Moomin Queen. That's cool. Uh, this is like strawberry. Uh, this is like lemon is locked licorice. Where? Onks meillä? Onks teillä salmiakki jätski olemassa? Oh, that was, yeah. They have they have salamiakki. This is actually quite good. I've had it a few times. Should I go with the salamiakki? I actually like the salamiakki myself. There's so many. It's, it's kind of maybe takes too much. Let me. Okay, show me some comments in there. I think I'm gonna skip coffee because I'm not a big fan of coffee to be honest. Okay, oyster says yes, salamiakki. Let me know, let me know.
Okei, okay, let's go with... Joo, yksi, yksi pallo salmiokkia, kiitos. Okei, okay, we're gonna go with the... Salmiokki. Anteeksi. Niin iso vai pieni? Iso vai pieni oli kysymys vai? Uh, can you speak English? Uh, so, do you mean big or small ball? Uh, I was about to ask, like, do you have a card, card or Aha, card, card, please. Yeah. Yes, all right. Uh, do, you, do you use this or a cup? Uh, I'll, I'll take the waffle. Yeah. Go with the salmiakki. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. We got the ice cream. Do 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 do. Nice of that. It was 350. Okay, let's let's give it a go. Just gonna maybe go a little bit. It's not so. Uh, let me go to the bench. Let me let me bench myself so I can. Sit down and enjoy the sauna cascade. This is so good. Yeah, I mean, what, what do you like salamiakki? I mean, salamiakki is like this is like a this salty kind of candy, and this is the flavor salamiakki flavor. So good. I'm not a fan of salmon in general, but everyone praises the ice cream, so I'm like, yeah, give it a go. You always have to try everything once. So I'm safe. So good. Much lighter color. Yeah, it's actually that. It looks like a regular. I mean, there is this like a black texture on it. But it doesn't look like that dark. Making a mess in the process. I love salmon. Can definitely excited. Yeah, it's 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 good. It's good. Do you prefer Ingman or Pingmini ice cream? Uh, to be honest, I don't think there's much difference. There are some, there are like these competitive uh, brands, I would say, yeah. But to be honest, I don't know. This, they're all good. I miss Finnish summer a lot. Yeah, they're easily the best season ever. Okay, Finland, Bosnia, Herzegovina game started. I actually, I'm using an Android phone, and I have this setting on my Google Chrome browser that it will give me this like a heads up, like a not heads up, but this like a bubble on my screen that I can move around, and it will tell what's the what's the time and what's the game, so that I can actually follow it along. I have more flashbacks from Salmiakki alcohol. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I mean. There's so many interesting Salmiakki products. There's ice cream, there's the alcohol, but guess what's guess what's the craziest I've seen? Salmiakki condoms. <laughs> I mean, um, I also have to say that I try them, of course, for the sake of science, you know. <laughs> but I mean, they're they're so creative with it, with the stuff. And of course, we have those sexy Finnish guys and girls uh, uh, available, and and also for some 
bunch of wow stuff, maybe you can also try it for, uh, for the sake of science, of course. For the sake of science. Okay, I said too much. Said too much already. People are leaving. <laughs> yes, where there's anything with the salmon flavor, yeah. Yeah, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Let me know. In Finland, there are so many of those flavors. It's, it's like I saw, just there was like 20, 25. But to be honest, I don't know. There's so many good, good ones. Salmiak is always a good, good to go. Where do you plan to go when you finish ice cream? I think I will show you the city center. Yes, we we didn't go to the main street yet. Uh, let me see what else there could be. Yeah, we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Live session in the public place, driving what a thing crazy you are. Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything legal and so no problem. I'm boring, it's a tie between strawberry and mint chip. Okay, no, I mean, classics always work. Oops. Oreo cookies and cream. There was an Oreo ice cream. But the hog and dust room apple pie, but I think it was a limited time. Choco mint, that's also pretty good. Pear and caramel, wow, awesome. Maybe I should team up with the ice cream brand and make some like a collab con content. I always try new flavor, then I end up ordering what I always get. <laughs> okay, that's that's funny. It's very humid and hot in Hong Kong. Finnish summer is way better. Love to dry and cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not humid at all. It's just hot, but not humid. Perfect. I remember when I was living in Japan, it was the same. It's like hot and humid. It's like a sauna outside. By the way, this building, over here, it's like a hotel, but there's also, I think it's the only like a decent nightclub in uh, in Coca-Cola. It's called, uh, what's it called? Club, uh, I don't even remember what's it called, but yeah, it's called, car name of the pale, probably, that's the way, that's the name. Ricardo from Mexico, thank you for showing us Finnish culture, good stuff. Thank you, Ariadna. So good. Hot and humid in Houston, Texas too. Definitely like a sauna. Yeah. We don't have that in Finland, but here. Okay. Destroyed. Now it's time to show some more stuff. So this is the square, as, as told. This is the current town hall. And this building, uh, it's it's a tourist info place at the moment, but it used to be like a fish, like a, like a place where you can buy fish. And it, people kind of remember the building because there was a, there's, there's the river over there and the ships used to stop here and everything. So that's where the fish marketplace was. But now it's just a tourist info. Here's like a small stage. This is the club. There's also this Amarillo. You can see it's a 
Finnish restaurant run by S Group. And as you can see, there are some people on the terrace over here, like having drinks. I've never been to a club in Finland, though. Don't don't know if people are still shy in a club. Well, not <laughs> at least not as shy as in every day uh, in the in the streets. Here's like at this uh, cute fountain, and let me. Actually, I could have a walk around the river because it's actually quite, quite nice. And then a more terrace over here on the left. Great. So if you just tuned in, we are walking in my hometown, Kokkola. I used to live here for 20 years. Then I moved out for the army and studies in other cities. But my parents still live here. So that's why I am here. This is not paid promotion or anything. And because it's such a summer, it's a great, great uh, summer weather. So that's why I'm here to show you around. Simple, easy peasy. We have 52 likes and 52 people watching the show. Awesome. Weather here in Portugal is jumping between 30 and 20 with rain. Oh shit. When 30 is a bit too much. 20 is like the sweet spot. Is there earthquakes in Finland? No. We don't have earthquakes. Luckily, we don't have any of those natural disasters like earthquakes or tsunamis, tornadoes. The only natural disaster we have are occasional drunks who try to do annoying small talk. I mean, not too bad. So this is the Sunti River. Used to be kind of big deal in the in the past, but yeah, like someone said in the chat that. <laughs> Now people just drive their bicycles there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they end up there though, but... No, no. <laughs> someone, someone waved at the stream, maybe you saw it. I'll be escaping 35 for Finland for 70 degrees. Yeah, I mean, 70 is, 70 is good. 70 is like, around 20 is like perfect. Perfect. A lot of people on the move. How long can such weather be enjoyed? Around three months. From the like end of March. Well, it depends. It could be four months if you're lucky. Like from. Uh, like mid-May till end of August. That's like the official summer. Summer uh, months, I would say. It's paid promotion directly. Visit Kokkola. Paid your parents. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should do some collabs. Like the reason why I haven't done any paid promotions because, well, first of all, I haven't got any offers. But secondly, it takes more. It's, it takes a. It's, it takes a lot of time. Because you have to reach out to them, then you have to negotiate the deals. Uh, then you have to have them accept the deals, like the content, of course. So it, it's, I mean, you can get some nice money, but you also lose some time doing the deals. That's the gym where I went there, Urheilutalo. Sports building, something like that. Come on, come on, zoom out, okay. Uh, Mikko from Finnish Plate. I lived for lived in Lonsland Forest. I love the weather there. Good stuff. Oh, look at the look at the nice set of wheels.
I'll be there in six days. I'm so excited. Alex videos definitely get me super excited for a trip. Yes, I mean Finland Finland is definitely a great place to visit. Especially in the summer, like this is the great time to come here because everything's blooming now. As you can see, it's, everything's so green. Also, the fins are blooming. <laughs> it's uh, I think it's easier to strike up conversations with fins. Like people are wearing less clothes, they're happier by in general because of the sunlight. And yeah, my my top tip is just to. Talk to people. I mean, the problem with the Finnish social culture is that we are not used to start up conversations with strangers. But if someone does it, and like, like, hey, what's happening? Why is this person talking to me? And uh, if you just show that you're like a genuinely nice person who just wants to get to know them, I mean, good stuff can happen. And it's also numbers game, you know. Whether you're dating Finns, getting me trying to make friends you know some some things just don't want to interact with anyone and some things are like the most social people ever but the thing is that you just need to open those conversations and and yeah it's numbers game it's numbers game my ancestors came from Kokkola to US I would like to visit one day is there a train to Kokkola from Helsinki yes there is there is a direct train connection I also use the train connection. Actually, there's an interesting backstory. Like, I think it was in the 17th or 19th century, there was a, like a battle here because of the British people tried to attack from the coast. But the brave Kokkola, Kokkolanians managed to defend and repel the evil British. And the Russian emperor rewarded them by ordering um, by ordering to have the main trail railway line to go through Kokkola. So if they didn't manage to hadn't they managed to defend them, we wouldn't have train station here. Maybe. I think it was the Alexander the first who was the Russian emperor. So he told to build the main railway track to go through Kokkola. That's why we have the train connection now. My Finnish friends are the best friends I can ask for, so once you make connection with Finns, they are very royal and good friends. Yep, I think that's true. They are like coconuts, you have to take some time to get the shell open, but once you do, delicious good stuff inside. Whew. Or is it flag day today? Yes, the Finnish Defense Forces day. Where are the reindeers? <laughs> we don't have reindeers. Only in the Lapland. Only in Lapland. Uh, the weather, weather is so perfect. Anyone know where I can see some Pesapalo games within the next week in Helsinki area? Uh, okay, so in Helsinki there is the female female there's a female team playing in the highest league. I cannot remember the name, but but that's that's what I remember. <laughs> okay, and then for men's. Uh, in Hyvinkä there is uh, the lo closest, like a top level game. But it's possible. The, the Pesapalo games are pretty awesome. Actually, last summer I visited the first one, and I was actually how surprised how, like, uh, it, it it was much more exciting than football games. Yeah, definitely go go and do that. Can be a local team professional. Yeah, go to the professional. I think there is a female, like in the female league, in the highest level, there is a team in, in Helsinki. You should be able to find the 
I think they're only in Finnish, but if you just Google Super Pesis Helsinki, for example, you should be able to find something. Congress to your hockey win. Yes, thank you. That was a <laughs> crazy victory. And you know, something funny happened on the video. If you saw the video of the parting, there was few like a salty Canadians who thought like, ah, this was like the referee's championship and Canada won, Finland won and Canada didn't have their best players. And there was like a, like a huge like argument in the comments, like a huge, like a thread. <laughs> I actually found it really funny. I heard that this golf is very popular. Uh, yes, that's true, and there is a course. I think there should be a few courses, but I know at least one. One course. Yeah, this golf is, it has become quite popular. And there are a lot of free courses in many cities. And also these walking live streams are kind of fun because if I go to have those foods I can also burn them with the walking. <laughs> have you been to Inari? Uh, I don't think I have been to Inari. Finland, Bosnia still 0-0. Zero, zero. Looks like a living neighborhood, yep. Residential, yeah. How many languages can you speak? Uh, five. As the Canadians had too much salted licorice. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Got that right. Hakalaksit ovat Kokkolan sukua. Noni. Sekin vielä, hyvä juttu. Hakalahtihan, Hakalahtihan, hetkinen, Hakalaks on ruotsiksi Hakalahti, eiks niin? Uh, yeah, actually, let's take a right here. I'm gonna show you a few, a few cool things. Five languages, wow. Yeah, I mean, I can do conversations. Finnish, English, Swedish, yes, and German and Japanese. Midnight Sad has already started in Lapland, the northernmost part of Finland. Sun doesn't set there until late July. Yeah, yeah, Mikko, Mikko speaks business. So in, in Lapland there's no sunset, it's just bright like this all night long. Can you talk about the building construction culture? Uh, well, I don't know much about it to be honest, unfortunately. I mean, you just build a foundation and, yeah, well, I don't, to be honest, I don't know. It would require a professional to get some uh, insights for that. Okay, so here's a few funny things. So you can see this mural. It's kind of full. There's this frog popping out from the ground. And this has been here as, as long as I can remember. It, I heard some students made it back in the days. So this is like a cinema building. There's a cinema. And then here, this is like an old protected uh, gas station building. And it got like a position to be taken down. But now someone made, a, made an appeal against that because it's been like protected. And they hadn't 
they haven't come up with any use so that's they wanted to take it down but now someone said no so yeah let's go what happened to the road uh, there is some construction i guess so they're doing the resurfacing just joining in welcome america I ran into many Japanese in Helsinki movement world. Yeah, Japanese love movement. Do you ever go fishing? Um, not really. I'm not really into fishing that much. Oops. Yep, but now we are approaching... Oh, Tesla! Look at that. Tesla. So now we are approaching the main main street. But as you can see, we don't have people here. <laughs> but that's, that's how Finland is, for the most part. But I, was, I would assume there would be more people coming up because today was the graduation day for the upper secondary school and they would uh, come to the streets at some point. Well, it's not too early, it's like half past seven. But I, I think in the bigger cities there's already some action going on, like schools out stuff. What's the name of the city? Kokkola. You can find it in the description. So this is the Kind of like a meeting point of the city, it's called Burje, which means sail. Alexi! Hey, what's up? I know you. I you follow, know me? I follow you on YouTube. That's great. Yeah, good to you. Where are you from? I'm from Bangladesh. Okay, cool. Do you live in Kokko? Yes, I live in Kokko. Okay, yeah. I'm originally from here. Okay, when you came from Helsinki? Sorry? I came from Helsinki. Do you live in Helsinki? Right? Yes, yes, or it's Espoo. Okay. Espoo, but my parents still live in Kokko, okay. so that's... Why I come every once in a while. Yeah, good to see you. Okay, yeah. Bye. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. You too. Yeah. Okay, some fun interaction. Didn't expect that to happen in here, here in Kokkola. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so this is a, a shopping center called Chuden, yeah? Over here, there's H&M and Rosso and all these kind of places. But as you can see, it's actually surprisingly deserted. Do you get a lot of stares when you film in public? Probably, but I don't see them because I'm focusing on the camera and comments. But yeah, I mean, it's it's nothing illegal, I guess. So what? Honestly, Finland is a beautiful country, I must say. Yeah, it is. Looks like a ghost town. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Here's the city library, this building. Yeah, but that's that's the point when I in the beginning of the stream I told like I'm not really I don't really like Coca-Cola because there's not much going on and as you can see. And uh, is there a term for people living in Kokkola? I don't think so. I don't think there is a specific word. You can just, of course, say in Finnish Kokkola line, which means like you're uh, like you're from Kokkola, but 
that's that's nothing like a out of the ordinary. Glad to see people trying to ride bicycles. Yes, but that's actually a good point on these smaller cities because the distances are kind of short, so it's very easy to go with bicycles in in the streets. I remember when I used to live here, I always took the bicycle to everywhere. To bars, to the shopping, everywhere. Beautiful and quiet city, yep. Thank you for the book. I know it's... I know it's not easy to explain and everything, yeah. I like doing this walk, walking streams because I don't have to do any editing. <laughs> because editing is the is the thing I don't I like the least when creating the videos. They're designed bicycle lane, uh, not in this city, but in the bigger cities. Yeah, you have I have started to see them. Here is also this Figaro uh, mural, and this is also like an old advertisement for this Figaro. It's like a, this, like a mental, like this that will refresh your breath and everything. But they also restored it like ten years ago, and it's still there. <laughs> It's kind of cool. Yes, Alex, you are awesome for doing these live streams. I think more people need to see the Finnish culture and amazing. Yeah, good stuff. It's good to get good to get some validation from from you that I'm actually not wasting my or your time with these live streams. Oops. Thank you for this. I work in the ice hockey industry, and someday my work will take me to Finland. Okay. Ice cream industry. So if you want the land of the land of ice hockey is definitely Finland. It's quite such a beautiful and quiet atmosphere. I love this. The Jasmine Wolf with two dollars super chats and I think we forgot to do the previous dance moves also. So thank you so much for the two dollar. Really appreciate it. Five, this, five, five. Literally gold city, yep. I mean oh it was a super sticker actually, yeah but word of two dollars. I mean, we have some people, it's not literally ghost city, but almost. I like to say hi to the next people you pass there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a that's a dare, definitely. Yes, thanks for distracting me from this hell is 32 Celsius. Oh my goodness. 32 is too much. Definitely too much. Okay. When I show you the park. <laughs> Better get a snow beeping. Sounding the horn. We have 35 today in Athens. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so someone actually, someone there was like a Volt, so Volt is like the local Uber Eats or like a, what do you call this, like a DoorDash. DoorDash actually bought, bought uh, Volt. So he actually said, to me, hey Alex, I watch your videos. I so probably saw that, but if you just tuned in. Very rare to hear horn. Yeah, that's actually true. I mean, Finns only use horn when it's absolutely necessary. Like in, in the Turk in Turkey, people use the horn like the indicator, you know, the blinker. Oh, there's some people are playing some some games. Yeah. 
Moi! Onks täällä joku peli tässä? Joo, koko ajan muodostapalveluja järjestetään myös sen Amazing Race-tapahtumalla. Aha! Okei. Kyllä kuuluu ikää sille, mutta Joo. No niin. Joo. Oliks paljon porukkaa nyt? Meillä oli seitsemän ryhmää, niin kun osallistuu tähän. Meillä on ollut seitsemän eri pistettä tässä ympäri keskustaa. No niin. Ja ainoa, ainoa ohjeistus oli, että tiimi ei saa käyttää moottoroituja kulkuvälineitä. Eli niin Jaha. Kuutitkin oli kielletty, että kävelee tää pyörällä. Ja... No niin. No niin. Joo, no se on kiva, että on tämmöistä mukavaa aktiviteettia Joo. nuorille. Niin. Ja meillä on ollut alakoululaiset sitten disko tuolla nuorissa tilalla tänään ja sitten lani. No niin, lanithan on tärkeä. No niin, te, te oikeasti tiedätte mitä nuoret tänä päivänä haluaa. Kun... Niitä täällä ainakin tehdä sen mukaan, mitä ne toivoo. Joo, se on just oikein, oikein meiningi. Niin. Joo. Joo. No niin, mutta ei muuta kuin mukavaa Kyllä. jatkoa. Moikka! Joo. Yeah. Okay, so they they were like the local youth, like an organization, and they had like this amazing race contest for youths, and that was like one of the pit stops. And uh, she explained like that they're trying to organize these activities, activities for young people, and they said that they have like a disco and land land party, like land it. So that was kind of cool stuff. Yeah, I, I I like to use Noni. So, for example, you maybe heard like where she was explaining something, and then I positively acknowledge what she said. I said Noni. So it's like some good stuff. And here's my school again. So now we've kind of come like full full circle. It looks so nice and clean. Yeah. I mean, look at this. WTF? Welcome to Finland. Oh yeah, by the way, we forgot to do the dance moves. Maybe I should catch up. Oh, there's some people, there's some youngsters. Yeah, so this is where I used to go. I was like t between 12 and 15 years old. That's like, that's a long time ago, like it. More than 15 years, wow. Time flies. Time definitely flies. It's nice and clear because there are no people to make it dirty. I mean, that's well said. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, we have also a lot of this public trash places, so it's very easy to put the stuff there. Okay, I need to find a stand of some sort to pull off my cheesy moves. There was some parade in Helsinki today. Yeah, it was the military. So today is the uh, military forces, no Finnish defense forces day, and they were showing off their uh, like the equipment, the vehicles, the weapons. I watched it on TV. There's no stray dogs. No, in Finland we don't have any stray dogs. I have never ever seen one in my my life. <laughs> Did you see how they were like riding with the with the scoots? That was good stuff. I bet the street was not this clean after I so Yeah, that's true. I mean, Helsinki city center was was like after a bomb. <laughs> it, it, so it was on the news. News as well. Alex, next time you should maybe visit the Enrico bunkers. Yeah, I, I don't. To be honest, I don't know if it's if it's like accessible for the public. But a good idea anyways. Aha, realized from your work the landscape topography looks like 
looks more flat. Yeah, Finland is very flat country in general. Okay, I got the got the stand for the dance moves, and I think I know the dance move I'm gonna do. If you've seen the movie Spider-Man 3, hold on. Can you see me now? No, because I'm a tall ass dude. If you've seen the movie, you know he comes from the from the court store and he does like that dance. Okay, once more. Comes to the store, just like this and Alright. Good stuff. That was worth two super sets, I hope. <laughs> Good stuff. At least some good content from my grandchildren one day. Like Grandpa actually showed those dance moves for money. Yeah. I mean, who knows, maybe in 50 years YouTube won't even exist anymore. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how, how time will change things. As soon as the sea started clap, someone I started laughing. Okay. <laughs> Is somebody laughing? I hope so. I hope that was fun. Uh, yeah, there were some uh, girls who were laughing, but I don't think they were laughing at me because they started laughing because before I started the moves. So that's that's why. Balloon. I think there was some there was a graduation party. How rare is it to see random people dancing and twerking, filming TikTok? Actually, I, I haven't seen them, but I mean, I think people do it all the time. I like your city is so beautiful. It looks like an amazing place to live. Lovely. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, what can I say? If, if you're looking for very peaceful, quiet lifestyle with nature and no one to bother you, then probably this could be the place to be. Good stuff. What time does it get dark now? Uh, Maybe at 1 p.m. No, 1 a.m. So we will have sunlight maybe for like five more hours. Four or five, something like that. You can just Google like Finland sunset and it should give you the time immediately. I was born in Ostrobothnia. Okay, so that's not too far. That's not too far. What are those other openings or glass pane in the houses? Just below the window panes, it's some functional thing. Not really sure what, what do you mean? Maybe we walked past something. Or maybe, okay, maybe if you talk about that thing, that black thing. To be honest, I don't know. I've never lived in that type of building, but it could, could, it could be like a ventilation thing or something. I moved to Nokia last year, good stuff. South Africa checking in, welcome. When I was younger, there used to be a kiosk over here, but it has been probably shut for 20 years or so. It's, it's never, nothing ever took its place, but the, the place is still here. And it's quiet, yes. You can only hear the birds. for the support chat so far. Yeah, the tunnel thing, yeah, I know it is. Okay.
quarter to eight in the evening. Oh yeah, the sky looks so clean. Yeah, just got the sun and few clouds. So let me walk you. Let's go to the residential area so you can see a bit of those as well. Yo, how are you? Thanks, you know, thanks, I zombies. <laughs> I'm doing quite okay. Visiting my parents and everything. It has bosses, you will. Hey, Blitzkrieg! Thank you for the five bucks super chat, really appreciate it. Blitzkrieg has also been one of the, those, uh, how would I say this, common super chatters, or like a regular super chatters. Thank you so much for, for being there and showering your money on me. <laughs> okay, that was so bad. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks, man. One good. Just walking about out and about in my hometown here we have some Finnish typical Finnish houses hey since the Nordic countries have the cleanest air do you get to see the clean starry nights I think yes yeah we have starry nights I believe Oh, Finland scores 1 0. Just before the. at the end of first period. Good stuff. I think I can go with the second half in my dad. Enjoying the show and having not give the thumbs up yet? Do that now. Hyvä Suomi, kyllä. Kyllä, kyllä. Are you still planning to come to the US? Uh, yes, at some point, definitely. I haven't, I still haven't been to the US, so definitely want to visit. Want to visit sometime. Yeah, trying to get my YouTube business producing some steady cold hard cash. And I mean, if, if I manage to do it, manage to break through, I think I will definitely do more traveling. Need to come to New York. Yes, New York. So we were planning to come to Miami in February, but the goddamn corona just messed up all that right at the last second. Marko pistää peukkoa, hyvä juttu. There's a cannon on your left. Do I see a cannon? There's a park. Nice day up here. Yep. Moi pomela. the birds nice blue bench 
like the color. Dimitri, how are you? Thank you, sir. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Travex Travex Travels Vlogs would be cool. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. That is a great park, sir. Yeah, I mean, very nice. Please, is easy getting a part time job in US as a student? Well, it's impossible to say. Uh, I would say it, it's at least challenging, but I mean, something that is very common to do is to sign up for the food delivery stuff for Volt and Food Order because you don't really employ yourself you have to kind of start like a, start like a business become an entrepreneur and then you just do the work and you invoice it but I know students who do that and you know setting up the business it's it's actually not that difficult or expensive either and you can just do as much work as you can whenever you want so it's actually quite flexible this is not like an official recommendation, but I mean, that's something that anyone can start doing. You probably have to get some sort of so like a vehicle, bicycle, or use those scooters or a car. So there's a little bit like upfront investment, but that, that, is, actually, that is something that anyone can get quite easily. Or yeah, so I'm not start telling to telling you to do that. But at least look into it. Got admission at Young. Okay. Yeah, I, I used to study in Finland. Uh, <laughs> also in Finland, but in Jyväskylä, I, I I think Jyväskylä is a decent city. Blitzkrieg. All right, my dude. Be safe. Thank you, Blitzkrieg. Have a great weekend as well. Yeah, don't buy a car because I'm telling you. Remember, I'm just a, I'm just a random Finnish dude on the internet. So don't don't take everything I say like at face value. But I mean, these are just more like a rec like a guidelines and ideas. And then, I mean, do your own research before <laughs> before committing to anything because you know, like I said. I'm just a random, regular Finnish dude on the internet. Cool. By the way, just a quick uh, tip. So, in the link, in the description, there is a link to resources. So, I have created a web page on my on my uh, website with all all kinds of useful Finland related resources such as uh, Finnish language learning apps, books about Finland, uh, useful services in Finland that I recommend you to use to save money or time and all these kind of things so I, I recommend to check it out at some point because you may find some useful, useful stuff there it's alexhimself.com slash resources That wasn't paid at because it's my own. <laughs> yeah. What is reasonably priced car in Finland? I mean, uh, if you get a used car, you can get some pretty cheap stuff. I mean, even at below one one thousand euro, you can get some like a a bit old but functional car. I never had to buy a car myself, so I haven't actually got into the process. But with like a few thousand euros, with a like budget like that, you should definitely get some sort of set of wheels. Yeah, people have requested me to do a video about buying a car. Probably I should do that. And there's no one here. Oh, city bunny. We actually have this quite a bit. 
Do you see this maybe every week? Come on, zoom out. Zoom out. There we go. Okay, I will check your resources. Good stuff, man. If you have any ideas what I should add there in the resources, let me know. Because I, I want to include all kinds of useful things there. Both free and paid. Good stuff, good stuff. Finland is very quiet, unlike Nigeria. Yeah, I mean, Finland is very peaceful. Twenty two hundred fifty million. Holy moly, so that's like twenty times more, something like that. No, five fifty times more. Buying a car is pretty straightforward, but you just go a dealership at least, you ask ask for a car, they make the payment. If you don't have enough money, they will request the loan. Okay, yeah, that's good stuff. It's it, it, that's some that's something. It's yeah, that's the uh, okay. Just need to slow things down a bit. Yeah, that's something like that. I think it works. You can also try it buy it from a private person, but I think the easiest way is to go to the dealerships because they're like professionals and they will help you with the process and everything. Dealership handles all the paperwork, but look up all the insurance if you want because they will transfer it. Yeah. If you buy a hybrid because Finland will go all electric. Yeah, I mean the electric infrastructure is being built all the time. The first thing I always notice when you do this walking tours is how very how very clean Finland is compared to the US. What a gorgeous day. Yeah. I mean this is very very common Finnish view, I believe. I mean for the, in terms of cleanliness. Oh, this is a bunny. I have a full electric car and have no problems charging. Yeah, you can also see you can find easy, easily find those charging ports. Look at the nature. Hello from Ireland. Welcome, Roy. Good stuff. We have we have we have had people from quite a few countries.
Hello from Sri Lanka. Thank you, Praveen. Hello from Sri Lanka again. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, we've been already streaming for two hours. Holy moly. 51% left battery left. Finland is very good when on a bicycle, unlike Kenyan terrains. Your reach is far and wide. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool thing in today's world. I mean, especially if you're doing business, because if you just upload a video, it can potentially reach anyone anywhere in, in the world. So that's kind of, it's, it's, it's like a huge opportunity. You speak English like Thomas Holopainen. <laughs> well, it's probably because we're both Finnish. What is this? Oh, oh, there are some filters. I, I just discovered this filter uh, selection, but yeah, I'm not really sure if this is gonna. Oh, look at this! This looks like I'm drunk. Kinda interesting. Good stuff, good stuff. Does Finland have nice mountains for hiking? We don't have mountains, but we have good hiking opportunities. Spooky, yeah. I just like, hey, what is this menu? Just try to click the few buttons and boom. We are on the same time zone, but here is already dark. Yeah, here we don't know what is dark <laughs> in the summer. It's D filter, yes. There is hiking in the ski mountains like Sappe near Tambra, yeah, and I mean there are these nature parks and national parks in many many cities you are still streaming, I'm back, yes yeah, it's been a long stream, we've been eating food and ice cream and talking to strangers and all these kind of things what time is it? it's it's Five past eight. Reconnecting. Okay, you're live again. For some reason, it started reconnecting. Guys, can we get to 100 thumbs ups? We need 20 more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fantastics. Can you hear the birds singing? There's a lot of birds, like a concert. Birdie birdie. Twenty more likes, please. Yes, fourteen more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here it's already ten thirty. Oh my goodness! Like in the evening, I assume. So it's just two hours ahead. Something like that. Or is it in the morning? Not sure.
lovely happy birds you have there. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the signs of spring and summer when you hear, start to hear the birds singing. 10.30 p.m., okay. Cut it like my stepfather used to restore them. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. We're hour behind in your summer. All right. Oh. Does the sun set at all in Kokkola? Uh, I mean, in in uh, in like a week or two, probably no. I mean, in the midsummer, there is no no light night. But Kokkola is kind of in the middle, so I think there's maybe like a few days or so when you know. <laughs> so, for, for like a funny story, if you if you clo if you go to clubbing, hold on, my it's a, a little bit shitty there. okay if you go clubbing in, in Finland in the summer and you got go back home around you know tree you can also already see that it's it's getting like brighter so Sun is like coming up and you know when you're gonna when you get home around four something go sleep it's always so bright outside <laughs> so it actually makes it a little bit difficult to go to go go to sleeping because it's, it's so bright, kind of interesting stuff. What do Finnish persons do when they are walking and someone goes past them? Uh, nothing, I guess. Maybe just give like a quick, like Finnish smile, and then proceed with their life. <laughs> yep. In Estonia, we just look on the ground. Yeah, 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 that's, all, that's also, <laughs> that's the other way. I am far too old for clubbing, 36 year old and three more kids, lol. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I, I feel you there. I'm 31 with no kids and I still don't do clubbing anymore that much. Occasionally, yeah, maybe. We deserve all that sunlight after the horrible winter darkness. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a good point. Wow, Brad, by 3 a.m., yeah. Definitely. Good stuff. What's the temperature? Uh, maybe 18 degrees. Very enjoyable weather. Thirty-two in Croatia. Oh shit! Jazz, greetings from USA. Thank you and welcome. We've been running for two hours. Yeah, thirty-two is way too hot. Like for Finnish standards, twenty is kind of the sweet spot. Looks like a nice walk. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is hard sleeping weather, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, it's been two hours, I think. Uh, when, when it's 32 in Finland, I'm melting, yeah. I mean, I feel you there. I feel you there. Here, Juho has a point. Not used to that. Yeah. Luckily, we don't have 30 that often. It's kind of rare. Hey, but I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream for now. It's been two hours. I had a lot. I had a good time. I hope you also have had. And uh, yeah, so thanks for joining in. Check out some extra li links in the description, especially the resources section. There's some good, good stuff for all Finland-related stuff there. And follow me on Instagram for behind-the-scenes stuff. 
and uh, new videos coming next week again so thank you so much have a great weekend and catch you soon again moi moi